Describe an experiment to show how the amount of infrared radiation that is absorbed by an object depends on the object's surface. So you could have an experiment where we put one person in a, a light shiny fireman suit and another person in a dark matte black fireman suit and put them both into a fire and see who gets hottest the quickest. But that's probably not going to be very practical and health and safety would have a few words to say about that. So instead of that, let's use an experiment involving a heat source in the middle of two plates. And this heat source could be, it could be a Leslie's cube that's uh, full of boiling water or hot water as long as the two sides are both the same color to keep it a fair test. It could even be a lamp, a filament lamp, because they give out quite a lot of infrared radiation as well. Now we have a light, shiny surface plate. A light, shiny surface. And we have a, a matte black or dark colored surface, two metal plates that have been painted will do the trick. And we have a little bit of wax which has been melted onto these plates and, and uh, solidified, um, onto which has been put a penny or a two pence piece. So you can sort of get the idea of what's going to happen. Is that as infrared radiation is emitted from this heat source, the matte black surface object is going to absorb that infrared radiation much more than the, the shiny white surface, which will tend to reflect the infrared. And the matte black surface will heat up the most compared to the light shiny surface. And that will melt the wax and the penny will drop. So the, we can say the matte black plate absorbs the infrared radiation more than the light shiny plate. light shiny plate. This means that the penny will fall off faster as the wax melts. Simple experiment, uh, but it will work quite nicely and you can even use sunlight as the heat source and this will demonstrate that matte black surfaces are much better absorbers of infrared radiation than light shiny surfaces.